Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick Amazon electronic haul. Um, please stay tuned, watch the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys over there. Hey everybody, so I got a uh, haul from Amazon, some electronic stuff. I'm going to cut the box open, we're going to see what's in here. Another little box. Some blades. All right. So, first one is uh, the other day I did a small little uh, camera haul, accessory haul. Um, I got a Polis camera cage. Well, this one is the actual one I was looking for. I bought the other one by mistake. Um, the other one it doesn't have a cage. This is the other one right here. So if you look at it, the camera just slides in. There's no protective cage on the outside. This one is the exact same. It's just, um, this one has, if you look at them, this one doesn't have a slide. This one does right here. It's the same color, it's the same cage. It says pull is on the front, just like this one. It's just this one is red and it has the extra feature that you can slide this tray off. You can put the camera in here and then slide this cage, back cover cage on so the camera doesn't fall out. This one also protects the camera if you drop it from here because the camera is actually recessed a couple centimeters or millimeters in. So it comes with another bag. It comes with the cold shoe and the GoPro mount, a couple screws and a lanyard, just like that one. The other thing I bought is I bought two more of these before. They were in my last video. A couple of my other videos. I bought another GoPro uh, mount for the, it's a Lux Bell mount, specifically for the um, the microphone adapter by GoPro. It's on the front of this one. It's on the front of the one that I'm doing the video on. And I just, I might as well have them all set up. This one I'm gonna end up using for, um, this camera is gonna stay in here. The new uh, GoPro Hero 7 is gonna go in this one because it has the protective shield slide. Um, but it's essentially the same. It's got a 52 millimeter front. Um, you can put filters on it, which I have a bunch of filters. I showed that in a video, um, and it's got this protector. Uh, so this is going to get mounted to the bottom of this, and then I'm going to mount everything on this. And then the other thing I bought... these large sets of blades. I got these off Amazon. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in each pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight in each pack. So there's 16 blades for the Karma Drone. These were, this cost me 45 bucks for all of these blades, where if I would have gotten them from GoPro, I would have gotten four for 20 bucks from what I had found out at the time. So it was cheaper just for me to buy them on Amazon from an anonymous company. Um, and these are actually very easy to put together. There's two screws, shoe mount. I usually put them all the way to the far left. The 
the shoe mounts on and then I grab the little wrench that comes in this one it comes with a couple little pads too that you can put inside the case to protect the camera when you're you're tightening it with the the grub screw two long allen head uh, screws put them through the bottom And it does have a bunch of other mounting options on the bottom. Okay, that's one. Grab the other one. They don't have to be extremely perfect. Just tighten them down. It's only holding a five or six ounce adapter. The bottom piece goes on this little tray right here. Figured I'd just put one of these together so you guys could see it instead of just seeing the cage already put together. That's it. I don't usually use the lanyards. Um, it does have a little cutout right here so you can see the front of the GoPro flashing. Um, the only difference, like I stated before, between these two, as you can see, this one doesn't have a outer cage where this one does. So you can slide this cage open. This one doesn't have that. Um, so that's the only difference. Uh, they're both the same company. The one I'm shooting with the camera on, that one's made by Lux Bell. So the blue cage is actually the same as this one right here. Um, it's just blue and it's made by a different company. The company that makes this piece, the, the Lux Bell uh, 3.5 GoPro mic adapter uh, cage is the one that makes the blue case. Um, and then you have this screw and this hook that holds the cable firmly while it's in the camera just screws in the side of the mic adapter piece and then for some reason it, I think they give you extra screws because I, I have three of these cases and I have two sets so I have six screws for all of them comes with these little felt pads you can put inside right here uh, which sits with this scrub screw so you can tighten the screw against the camera to keep the camera from moving in the cage. They're little felt pads. Um, I've used them on the camera that's running now, but I also need to go get a little shoe um, in one of my bags. But figured I'd show you these. 
Um, I plan to do a lot more videos with the, the GoPro draw, Karma drone, so I bought a bunch of extra blades in case I crash again. Um, so, 16 blades, I would be able to put... Uh, the Karma drone takes four, it's a quadcopter, so there's four and four, so I'd be able to crash four times before I need to buy more blades. So, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you'd like to see future videos. And thank you for watching. And also hit the check out the Amazon affiliate links. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.